I tell you, I have filmed and recorded an entire video already on this subject. It was edited and it was like 14 minutes long. I'm drilling holes. I'm showing you how to do all different kinds of stuff. And I, I put it in my queue to post and I said, mm, I'm going to make sure that this video is right. I'm going to test what I just did, but clearly it's going to work. I take the boat out and it didn't work. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to change it up and I'm just going to add it to the video. I change it up, drill some more holes, go out, test it. Still doesn't work. I did it a third time. Still doesn't work. But I've done it a fourth time now, and the fourth time worked. So let's talk about this. I can finally speak intelligently on this subject. Anchor line twisting when using a double line anchor system. What is a double line, a double line anchor system? It's basically a system that will allow you to cut the anchor weight in half. Now, some people might be saying, if you're using a kayak or something like that, they might be saying, why do I need to cut an eight pound weight in half? You don't. But if you're using a 40 pound weight, on a drift boat, you better cut that weight in half because picking up a 40 pound, if you use streamer fishing where you're never going to drop the anchor, okay. But if you're, if you're dry fly fishing, you want to pick up that anchor 20, 30 times in a day? No, you do not. So let's look at a double line anchor system. This is double line. Now normally with a single line, you're attaching the end of this to this loop right here. This goes right to there. That's a single line. That means this line goes through and it goes all the way to where you pull the anchor up. A double line means you go through something and then you bring this line up and you attach it to the top right there. So now you can see if you put this line, if you put this line through this loop, you're not pulling the line which is pulling the anchor. You're pulling the line which pulls on something that's terminal, a terminal connection. And this line is effectively just getting shorter. You're not pulling up. The, the anchor comes along for the ride essentially. And that does cut the weight down a little bit. The problem is, is that if you just put it through here like this and this anchor twists, you twist up these two lines. I think that's pretty obvious, right? So what do you do? Well, you buy something like this right here. See this? Zidco LLC. This is a pulley plus a swivel. See that? Now the anchor, pick it up to show you, it spins freely. It can't twist up the line. So I installed that and I got myself a, a nice long line because clearly if you have a double line system, you need almost twice as much line as normal. You can't use a 40 foot line. I had originally had a 40 foot line, a 40 foot line going right to here. This is more like 75. See that? So you need, you need more line because you're effectively pulling up twice as much line, but the weight is half as much. I hope that makes sense. It goes around a pulley and then I had it come up and I had this, so you can see a hole right here, right? You can see a hole over here. And all I did was have this rope go through the hole and it knotted. Now here's the problem. I thought that this was gonna solve the problem. If you look at all the info on this thing right here, which cost me 80 bucks, this is it go. They show videos and they're showing how the anchor can't twist up the line. It's true. The problem is this. When you pull up an anchor line, you are putting a twist into it. You're you're putting hand over hand and you're you're slowly twisting the rope. So what happens when you twist up this rope? Over time, you're gonna just put a twist and a twist and a twist. You can just see right now, the line is twisting up, right? Well, what happens is, is that when you have a line twisted, you can already tell it just wants to like furl up right here. See this? It just wants to do this. So the anchor has, no, has none of the issues, right? The anchor is not creating the issue. It's the twist you put within the line. And if you have it as a terminal connection over here, there's no way for it to spin freely. So it just twists up. And then what happens is once it twists up, it locks. And the, the anchor can no longer be lowered because it basically just binds right here. It can't go anywhere. You'll, you'll, 
you'll let go of the rope on in the inside of the drift boat expecting this thing to fall but it can't fall because it can't go through this pulley so the binding stops it completely and it doesn't take very long i went out and within an hour an hour and a half the it was unusable so this thing is great to stop the anchor from twisting your lineup but once you put this on the anchor can no longer resist the twisting you can't untwist the line so what did i do first here's i'm going to tell you all the things that didn't work it's because you might be saying oh why don't i just do this and it'll probably work okay it's not it's not going to work all okay? right so the first thing i did was is i had this rope through this hole i had a very small angle here and i said this is going to reduce the weight the most by doing this it twisted up on me i said okay you know what i'm going to attach the rope over here it's going to create a big angle and yes it may not you know half the weight of the anchor but maybe i take off 10 pounds or something like that but the angle the distance between these two ropes it's going to it's that's going to re resist it from twisting together didn't do it it's still twisted together and then um then i did this right here so i put a second swivel this is a very cheap swivel this is not 80 bucks all this is 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 that it's a clip it's a clip with a swivel on it and this is like a, a noose knot right here a melted noose knot so i noose knotted it and then i melted it and then i attached this clip to this bolt that goes through now this without a doubt solved the problem i went out yesterday totally solved the problem now i will say this this isn't a free spinning swivel like this thing is this thing this thing swivels incredible it's it's amazing right but this is just the way this is pulling on here it creates resistance and it, it you see how loose this is it doesn't it it will it will like counteract or compensate is really the right word it'll compensate for for rope twist but only when the rope gets to a certain twist point meaning it doesn't just you can even see it right now as i'm see how i'm i'm turning the rope it doesn't actually twist until you really you really it really has to be tensioned up so this thing and remember the twist is coming from here that's the problem so the twist has to go through this you know the, this pulley has to come up and it has to be twisted up enough where the tension on this causes it to spin to compensate that point is before the point that it will twist up like this so it will work the the thing is though is is that it's not it's not going to work instantly so but it will stop it from twisting I have I have absolutely without a doubt confirmed this and um, it uh, in fact maybe I can what I can do is is that I can set you up here okay what I'm gonna do is is that I'm going to you can see that there's a there's a twist in it right now but you can see it's un see that it just compensated for it. So if I lower this up, and right now on my end, I'm putting a twist in the rope. So I just put a twist in this line to show you again. Now remember, this is not a twist that was put in by the anchor. This is a twist within the line. It's a two different things. A twist put in by the anchor means the anchor is turning and it's causing the lines to just twist up like that this is a this is a twist within the rope that causes them to wrap around you see you see what's happening as i twist this rope that's the twist i'm talking about and that's the twist i'm trying to compensate for so when you lift this thing up when i lift this up right now the anchor is not doing anything to undo this twist because it spins freely. It can't undo the twist. 
The only way for it to, this twist to be undone is by taking the rope and twisting it the other way. And you can't monitor that inside the boat. You have no idea what's happening. So you need something else to do that for you, which is this right here. So if we'll pick this thing up, I'll show you. Okay. So now we watch it. Watch this right in here. So you see how it undid? Now, clearly it took a long, it took a bunch of pulls up and down for it to do that. But the point is, is, is that it was twisted up. It'll never get to that point. You see what I'm saying? It'll never get twisted up like that because this is going to automatically compensate for it as it tries to do, to, to, as it tries to twist. I put the twist in manually. I dropped the anchor. I, you know, I twisted this thing up real tight. I moved them closer. I, I, there was nothing, no tension on this for it to undo. So I put it in manually. So even if for some reason that did get put in there, but it won't, even if it did, it will undo it. So you can see that, that, that this solution is, is good enough to undo a twist, which means it'll be way good enough to compensate before the twist happens. Hopefully that makes sense. I know it's a little bit complicated to understand, especially if you don't know anything about drift boats, but this is a major problem with a double line anchor system. And just having this swivel pulley doesn't solve all the problems. The problem of line twisting, not twisting two lines twisting together, but the twist within the line, that is a major problem. And it can be solved with one of these. This was 10 bucks. So, I mean, this is a very cheap solution. 10 bucks for this thing, the bolt, and the bolt nut and washers cost me, I don't know, two bucks. So for $12, $13 with tax, I solved the problem. It took a long time. And I tell you, I, I, I was looking at some forums and a lot of people really had no clue how to solve it. And w one of the problems is, is that, you know, somebody says, oh, I got anchor line twisting problems, right? And um, somebody goes, oh, I never had that problem before. And then somebody like later on starts talking about how, oh, I'm talking about a double line. A double line system. And some people don't even know what a double line system is. Some people don't even realize that right now I'm lifting it up and down with, and I'm putting a twist in it myself. I'm really twisting the hell out of it. And I bet you will see that that new swivel compensating for it. You can already see it's it's turning. There it goes right there. See that? So there it goes again. As I'm twisting this rope and pulling it up and down, I'm we're seeing the swivel compensate for it. So there's the solution, and it without a doubt. Man, perfect. I'm so happy. Because now, I mean, I have hand problems already. Um, and getting a 40 pound anchor, oh man, you can see the twist in here. You see it? The twist is here, but it's, it's just enough to make this turn to compensate for it. It's not enough for it to twist together. It's really, uh, this is it. So cutting this in half is going to be great for me. Absolutely great. That's it. So that is the solution to both anchor line twisting problems. Both problems. There's two problems. There's the anchor twisting the two ropes together, and there's the twisting of the two ropes together because of a twist within the rope. All right. Whew. Thanks, everyone.